O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endureth forever. Our processional hymn from the Blue Hymn Book, hymn number 307. Come, ye thankful people, come, praise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God our Maker doth provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, praise the song of harvest home. All the world is God's own field, fruit unto his praise to yield. Wheat and tears together so unto joy or soul no more. First the blade and then the ear, then the full corn shall appear. Lord of harvest, grant that we wholesome bring and your name be. For the Lord our God shall come, and shall take his harvest home. From his field shall in that day all offenses purge away. Give his angels charge at last, in the fire the tears to cast. But the fruitful is to store in his garden evermore. Even so, Lord, quickly come to thy final harvest home. Gather thou thy people in, free from sorrow, free from sin. Therefore, ever purify in thy presence to abide. Come with all thy angels, come, raise the song of harvest home. Let us pray together the call for pure. Almighty God, out of whom all hearts be open. All desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write both these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Lord, have mercy upon us, and Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and, and in earth peace of will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of love the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only are the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O 
Almighty and everlasting God, who crowns the year with thy goodness, and has given unto us the fruits of the earth in their season. Give us grateful hearts, that we may unfailingly thank thee for all thy loving kindness, and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the lesson. The lesson is written in the 8th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, beginning at the 7th verse. The Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, flowing out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you can dig copper. And you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Take care lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his rules and his statutes, which I command you today, lest when you have eaten and are full and have built good houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrifying wilderness with his fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you water out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna that your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and test you to do you good in the end. Beware lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Here ends the lesson. The gradual psalm is found in the prayer book on page 408, Psalm 65, verses 10 to 15. Psalm 65, verses 10 to 15. Let us stand and say this together. Thou visitest the earth and waters, thou makest it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water, thou preparest their grain, for so thou providest for the earth. Thou waters the furrows, swilling the riches thereof. Thou makest it soft with the drops of rain, and blessest the increase of it. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths ripped with gladness. The pastures of the wilderness ripped, and the little hills rejoice on every spot. The pastures are full of little flocks, the valleys also stand so thick with rain, that they laugh and sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is written in the 27th chapter of the 6th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 27th verse. Glory, Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus said, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. 
He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the, the Father of Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth and of all, all things, physical and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten the Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten and not made, being of one substance with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin and Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended in heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead. Whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son together is worship and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Take care lest when you have eaten and are full and have built good houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. In the name of God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Many years ago, when I was a much younger man, I used to coach some basketball, elementary school age basketball, 10 and 11 and 12 year old boys. It was a lot of fun and we had some success. We even won, I'll brag a bit, we even won a couple of provincial championships. The boys were great to work with and I got to know some really great kids on their way to becoming really great adults. But as much fun as we had, we always noticed the very same problem each and every year at the beginning of the season. The boys on the team were the very best from their respective league teams. About a dozen or so were chosen out of the several dozen who played each year in the league. They were chosen to play on a team to represent their community at the provincial championships. So they were fairly good, quite used to being the best players on their teams and used to being successful. So when we got them together for the first time to practice, to get ready for the championship, which would be a few months down the road, we always had a problem getting their attention. They were so used to being the very best players, so used to winning and being successful, in many cases dominating their opponents, that they assumed that they already knew just about everything that they needed to know, that they were in the images of that time, the next Michael Jordan or Scotty Pippen or Magic Johnson. So try as we might, we struggled to get them to focus during those initial practices. We'd try to encourage them to learn some new skills, but they would listen disinterestedly for a moment or two and then go off and do exactly what they'd always been doing before. They just assumed that they were as good as they needed to be and as good as they wanted to be. So they didn't listen to the kinds of things that we wanted them to work on. And they had no interest at all in doing the hard work necessary to be the best that they could be. So we came up with a plan. We always made sure that the very first game that we played as a team would be against a team several levels above us, a team much better than we were, and the results would be predictable. We'd lose the game badly. We'd get our clocks cleaned, as they say. And all of their dreams of greatness and glory would come crashing down to the ground. But after that, they knew what they had to do. And you would not believe how focused they would be at the very next practice, ready to get to work. In last week's homily, you may remember that I spoke about the role of humility, of how humility literally grounds us of how it reminds us of where we all come from, that no matter who we are, we are all formed and all shaped by God from the dust of the earth. We're literally made of the very same stuff. Well, this week's reading from the book of Deuteronomy is also about getting grounded, literally, 
It tells us of the warning that Moses gave to Israel of what would happen one day once they got settled into the promised land, once all their travels were over and they were enjoying the abundance of that land, of how they would forget how they'd gotten there, of how they would forget what God had done to get them there, of how he had rescued them from slavery and fed them in the wilderness and brought them to a good and abundant land, of how they would get comfortable with all the goodness at hand and forget what God had done to form and to shape them into a people and a nation, of how they would begin to imagine vainly that they had done it all themselves. When we hear this reading from the book of Deuteronomy on this holiday weekend, we need to understand the image of land as both history and as metaphor for what it says about Israel long ago and what it says about us right now. And that's where humility comes into the picture again. We are reminded by this week's celebration of Harvest Thanksgiving that we don't have to lose a basketball badly to be grounded, to be reminded of who we are and whose we are. That's what gratitude does for us, not just one day each year, but every day. Giving thanks to the God who is the source of all of our comfort and all of our abundance. Our annual celebration of Harvest Thanksgiving is a reminder that our happiness will always be defined, not just by what we have, but by our ability to be grateful for what we have. Giving thanks is the secret to real happiness, not just for this year's harvest as we do this weekend, not just for our national heritage as we will do on Monday, but for everything, even those hard and difficult things that challenge us and stretch us and make us grow. Gratitude grounds us. It takes our natural dissatisfaction with all the regular routines of life and transforms it. It helps us to put all of life into a larger, wider canvas, to see everything in relation to the whole. It's all about changing our lives, not just making them more filled, but more fulfilling, more complete. Gratitude reshapes our hearts. It lifts us from the negativity and cynicism of a broken world. It lifts us from the desperation and dissatisfaction of a world that always looks for more, but never finds what it really wants. In a world where it is all too easy to take everything for granted, gratitude fills our hearts with wonder every day. It sees every moment as a moment of grace. Gratitude challenges us to never forget the God who has promised to be with us forever. The God who has blessed us in times of comfort and joy and strengthened us in times of darkness and fear. Gratitude helps us to keep our eyes on Christ at all times, that he might guide us through both success and failure, through both joy and sadness, that we not lose our way in the good times or our hope in the bad. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious for his mercy endureth forever. Now to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost be ascribed all might, majesty, honor, glory, dominion, and power, this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. He that soweth little shall reap little, and he that soweth plenteously shall reap plenteously. Let everyone do according as he is disposed in his heart, not grudging or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful gift. Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, for ever and ever, all that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. 
all things come of thee and of thy will. We offer this Holy Eucharist of the praise and glory of Almighty God with heartfelt thanksgiving for the generous and loving ways in which God provides all things necessary for our happiness and our wealth. As he has blessed us, let us seek always to bless each other in his holy name. Let us give thanks to God our Father always and for everything, saying, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the beauty and wonder of creation, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for our daily food, for our homes and families and friends, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for minds to think and hearts to love, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for health, strength, and skill to work, and for leisure to rest and play. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for those who are brave and courageous, patient in suffering, and faithful in adversity. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for all who pursue peace, justice, and truth. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for the goodness of this land, for a heritage of freedom and self-sacrifice, for the desire to share our wealth and abundance with others. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. for a willingness to hear differing viewpoints with patience and trust, for an end to acts of terrorism and violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all the saints whose lives have reflected the light and grace of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who are diseased in body and mind, for all the sick, especially Peter, Dorothy, Anna, Megan, Richard, Ruth, Lloyd, Donna, John, Wanda, Cynthia, Eva, Gail, Edmund, Mary, Esther, Sharon, Simone, Maureen, Derwin, Gerald, Lionel, Griffin, Dale, Christopher, Eleanor, Kelly, Kevin, Rael, Marie, Pius, Cedric, Jerry, Debbie, Scott, Sarah, Ben, Michael, Pat, Philip, Terry, Aiden, Lisa, Brenda, Wayne, Alan, Graydon, Charles, Adam, Eric, Martin, Paige, Mindy, Wilfred, Teresa, Shane, Rochelle, Deanna, Sherry, Randy, Faye, Grace, Maxine, Melanie, Matt, Sheila, Paul, Gerald, Michael, Franklin, Hudson, Abby, and Justin. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely, fearful, or sorrowing, for the hungry and homeless, for those who face temptation, doubt, and despair, for all those who suffer from natural disaster, for prisoners, and those suffering the enslavement of addiction, and for all those who are in need of God's grace in other ways to stay, remembering Chelsea, Judy, Aaron, Courtney, Linda and Mary, Vanda, Wendy, Martha, Bobby Joe, Georgia, Joseph, Carol, David, Shauna, Ethel, Evelyn, Sam, Mabel, Shirley, Kay, Charlie, Maria, Sheridan, Ralph, Carissa, Deanna, Sandra, Heather, Sean, Emma, Sandra and Randy, Brenda, Brian, Michelle, Janet and Michelle, Jeremy and Janine. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And let us remember this day all the faithful departed, especially Kathy Rankin, Edith Flynn, Mary Catherine Savoy, Brian Michael Knox, Charles Francis, Jeffrey Peddle, and Terence Young. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. To whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead the new life following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. We do earnestly repent, and our heart is sorry for these our schools. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Lord. 
for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all this past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, with the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hear also what St. Paul said. This is a true saying and worthy of all to be received that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John said, If anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty everlasting God, Creator and Preserver of all things. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessing and glory and thanksgiving be unto thee, Almighty God, our heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once off a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memorial of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, a merciful Father, who was humbly beseeched, and grant that we receiving these five creatures of bread and wine. According to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we thy humble servants, of all thy holy church, remember the precious death of thy beloved Son, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again in glory. Do make before thee, in this sacrament of the holy bread of eternal life, and the cup of everlasting salvation, the memorial which he hath commanded, and we entirely desire thy fatherly Mercy to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And we pray by the power of thy Holy Spirit, all we who are partakers of this holy communion, may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with thy spirit. spirit. We do not presume to come to this side table of merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy unfolded great mercies. We are not worthy so much to gather the promises of thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to thy person. Grant us therefore gracious more. So be the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed in his most precious blood, and that we may ever dwell around in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, and have mercy, mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, and have, have mercy upon us, O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Grant us thy peace. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Jesus Christ, which is given for you, which is worthy of honor and soul, and the rest of the to be this remembrance that Christ died for you, and you are in your heart by faith. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shed for you, preserved your body and soul. Drink this in the place that Christ's blood was shed for you and for you. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shed for you, preserved your body and soul for the last day. Drink this in the place that Christ's blood was shed for you and for you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, 
we most heartily thank thee that thou dost graciously feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of his precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, assuring us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are living members of his mystical body, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. And although we are unworthy, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Our recessional hymn from the Blue Hymn Book. Hymn number 305. Hymn number 305. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. O wondrous things hath God in whom his world rejoices. Who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. And keep us in his grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All oh, praise and thanks to God, the Father now is given. The Son and Holy Ghost, supreme in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore. For thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us go forth in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.